Kenyans seem to be jumping from crisis to crisis, a drought crisis, a cost of living crisis and now a flooding crisis. Violent downpours over the past few weeks have had as many as 80,000 people. From at least half of the country's 47 counties uprooted from their homes, 50 people lost their lives and thousands of acres of farmland decimated and approximately $10 million worth of property destroyed. You might be wondering where the government is in all of this. Well, President William Ruto's administration is waving their hands, not our responsibility. The head of state is currently jetting across Europe, shaking hands, trying to get new loans from the IMF and World Bank, something which flies in the face of his election promises to tame the country's appetite for loans. Early predictions of El Nino rains a few months ago from the meteorological department saw the government set aside 10 billion shillings for interventions. But the administration has changed its tune. It now says regional governments should use their emergency funds and for Forget about getting any assistance from the national government. I'll leave you with one nagging question. Did the cash meant to mitigate flooding in Kenya disappear into thin air?